So we often talk about capillary beds, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to get really up close and really get a good understanding of how these things work. A couple of neat tricks our body has developed to make sure that blood gets to the areas where it needs to go. So let's start out on the left side. This is an arterial, right? So an arterial is carrying blood that uh, initially came from the heart. It's going to come down, let's say this way, through the arterial. And let's say some of the blood is going to continue down this way, maybe to another capillary bed. But here we have one right here. So it's going to divert and send some of the blood through this way. Now the first vessel, this tiny little vessel over here, it actually is not a capillary. Even though we uh, would assume it's a capillary because it's coming after the arterial, we call this a met arterial. A met arterial. And the reason I'm calling it that is because if you look inside the wall of this met arterial, it actually has some smooth muscle. And so this is by definition then not a true capillary because it has some smooth muscle in the wall. The true capillaries are these guys out here. So all these guys over here, these are the true capillaries. And I'm actually just going to call them that. So when we use the word true capillary, we're really trying to distinguish from that met arterial. So where is the blood going to go? It's going to go into all these true capillaries, right? It's going to course all the way through here. It's going to go every which way. It's going to go down this way as well into all these true capillaries. And it's basically trying to get to all the tissue, all the cells here. These are individual cells kind of hanging out, all doing their job. And they need, of course, nutrition. So this is at the cellular level. This is what it looks like, guys. Just a bunch of cells put together trying to get some nutrition. And when you kind of zoom out, you would say, ah, well, this is obviously a bit of tissue. So when we talk about tissue, it's basically just talking about a collection of cells like this. I'm not going to draw them, but you get the idea. And some of the blood, of course, is going to go and stay in this met arterial. It's going to go through to the other side. And as it goes to the other side, the name changes. So same basic uh, vessel in a way, but its name changes, and it's called the thoroughfare channel. So the thoroughfare channel. And the distinction between the thoroughfare channel and the met arterial is that the thoroughfare channel does not have smooth muscle. So here you should not be finding any smooth muscle. And that's really the, the key difference between the two sides. So this is really becoming more like a venule. So over here, as the blood kind of exits and goes back towards the heart, and of course it's going to meet up with other blood coming back, this is the venule or the vein side. So now you can kind of see how the blood's flowing from the arterial all the way to the venule. Now here's the really cool thing. What the body does, and this is the nifty uh, concept, is that there are these precapillary sphincters pre-capillary sphincters. And I've drawn them as yellow kind of cells here, smooth muscle cells. And these pre-capillary sphincters, what they do is they basically squeeze down. They basically squeeze down. That's these guys right here. I've drawn, I think, uh, six sets of them. But you can see they're all basically looking the same. They will squeeze down. And if they do, let's say uh, we do not want blood to come to this capillary bed. We want to save the blood for something else. Well, these smooth muscle precapillary sphincters, they squeeze down. And as a result, you really don't get any blood flow going through these areas. So this uh, white arrows, they kind of uh, do not exist. You have less blood going this way. And the blood will end up just going right through the middle. It'll just go right through that met arterial, right through here. And it'll go into the thoroughfare channel. So basically what you're doing is you're basically completely avoiding this capillary bed by clamping down on these pre-capillary sphincters. So it's kind of a neat use of smooth muscle to control even at the capillary bed level where the blood is flowing.